Hi guys, welcome to London Lips YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new and welcome if you're not. So today we're going to be talking about Gareth Thomas, the ex-rugby player who was actually given HIV to his ex-partner and is currently being sued because he basically has spread the illness. So we're going to talk about this. So obviously if you hate HIV, I think an obvious thing to do is obviously inform people that you have it and give them the choice as to whether they want to have sexual relationship and um, relations with you obviously it's a choice that you know the person should make so we're going to talk about this so gareth as i said is an ex-rugby player he allegedly slept with his ex and he never told him he had hiv he also allegedly did not take reasonable care to stop it from spreading so him and his ex you know they had a relationship it was an on and off relationship and it was about a decade ago gareth is being charged with assault battery infliction of intentional harm and negligence and this it, the reason gareth is being charged with these things is because as i said he did not inform his ex allegedly that he had hiv now gareth when he found out he had hiv he was very upset and he had previously said it made him suicidal so to hear he didn't take care to give it to another person he didn't you know take the right precautions or attempt to you know not spread it or even let his ex know he has it is shocking to me judging how upset he was and how he literally wanted to die when he got the diagnosis so basically he never told his ex and the reason his ex found out that he actually had hiv is because his ex looked in the bin and when he looked in the bin his ex found pharmaceutical product now the pharmaceutical product that his ex found in the bin was antiretroviral drugs which is obviously used to treat hiv so when he found this drugs in the bin he found out that gareth you know actually has hiv he was then realized he'd been put at risk um from gareth and you know basically that is why he decided to you know take legal action against him so gareth's ex is obviously now suffering from hiv he is now hiv positive and you know of course he's going to court because, of course, he was going to want to, you know, get compensation. You know, obviously, see Gareth punished. Because, you know, to catch HIV and know someone knew they had it. And to know they took no care to even, you know, stop you from catching it. Of course, you're going to want some sort of, you know, I wouldn't say revenge. But some sort of justice. Some sort of feeling that you know there's been some punishment for somebody giving you an illness that is long term an illness that is going to change your life and of course although you can take a tablet a day as i said nowadays the bottom line is you know this could have all been avoided now i'm going to tell you a bit about the law so basically if you're having sex yeah there's no law that says you must tell your partners that you have hiv which absolutely shocks me but apparently you don't have to tell your partners it's a choice whether you tell them or not but within England and Wales, there's a risk of being prosecuted for reckless transmission of HIV. So if you've had sex with someone and, you did, and um, they didn't know you had HIV, if you were reckless with your HIV, there's a chance you could be prosecuted. So Gareth is in the section of being reckless because obviously he didn't take, you know, the right precautions to stop spreading it to his ex and that has led to him catching it. I'm going to say, yeah, if you're out there and you have HIV... Please, please inform the people you're sleeping with. Please take precautions to make sure you're not spreading HIV. You know, please don't just spread it to other people just because somebody spread it to you. Like, please be sensible with this. You know, there's no point in putting other people at risk if you've been unfortunate enough to have the illness. You know, yes, your life still goes on. Yes, you'll still have a life. But please don't spread it unnecessarily. Like, if you have HIV, please, you know... Take precautions to not spread it to, like, people you're dating, not to spread it to your partner, not to actually spread it. And please just tell people. I feel like, you know, people just want to know and let people make an informed decision as to whether they want to, you know, be sexual with you and, you know, whether they want to go unprotected with you or not. It's a choice you've got to allow people to make. You can't just, you know, spread it and just, you know, spread HIV and, you know, have no care for other people. You know, if he did do this, he, if he did, you know, purposely spread it, or he spread it because he didn't want to tell him, or, you know, he was scared to, um, you know, disclose his um, 
HIV status. I really wish he had gone out there and got like some sort of counselling, some support, and just learnt some methods how he could share this information with like partners. Or if he wasn't ready to share the information with partners, maybe he could have, you know, just been celibate. But, um, you know, please, anyone that's out there that does have HIV, please, you know, think about other people as well. And please, you know, do take precautions, cannot spread it and let people know. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you on another video. Please subscribe so you don't miss a goddamn thing. Let's go.